The mulch is not enough, let's say, to irrigate. You know, it does a lot. It retains water, you know, it keeps it cool, it keeps it fresh for a long period. And surely, you know, as you go down into the soil, it's going to be humid and that. But, you know, it's not wet. The mulch doesn't keep it wet when in, in, in this severe drought. However, the bananas do. Forget about sustainability. You want to enrich ecosystems. Every bean is equipped to live a positive energetic balance. Keep it pruned. We are cultivating abundance. Not a problem to cut down trees. The problem is not planting them. Hey, what's up, Agroforestry Academy? How are you guys? We're here with Felipe behind the camera. What Woo! is up? Nice one. Back here in Situ de Jazz. So now we are firmly into the rain season. It's been raining for 10 days straight. And when you look in the, you know, if you ask your iPhone or your Samsung or whatever, it's going to say another 10 days of rain. So no sun. I mean, you know, bits of sun along the day, but you know, firm rain. We're into the firm rain season. We're not pretending to be in the rain season. We're actually in it now. Um, and what has this drought season taught me? We're here in a six-year-old, going into a six-year-old system. This system here, five, five and a half years. And as time moved, you know, as the bananas, with time, the bananas stopped being the main organic matter producer and I became more reliant on the eucalyptus. And I've been very chuffed, very, very pleased with the eucalyptus, the amount of the amount of matter it produces, you know, it's been very satisfying, you know, enormous amount of cuts a year, massive amounts of organic matter. But I have to admit, you know, in the height of the drought, which this has been one of the worst droughts, we went for a full five months, no rain, not one drop. In the height of the drought, even when if you have this much mulch, you know, being eucalyptus mulch, being, you know, we moved into our avocados, now we're pruning some avocados, so even some avocado mulch. Even if you have this much mulch, you know, in the height of the drought, if you look under it, it's, it's dry. The mulch is not enough, let's say, to irrigate. You know, it does a lot. It retains water, you know, it keeps it cool, it keeps it fresh for a long period. And surely, you know, as you go down into the soil, it's going to be humid and that. But, you know, it's not wet. The mulch doesn't keep it wet when in, in, in this severe drought. However, the bananas do. However, the bananas, the, the banana mulching does keep it wet. So what am I saying? Banana is not just mulching, it's irrigation. All right, banana is irrigation. When we're pruning eucalyptus and other trees, I can't consider it an irrigation. It's mulching, it's covering the soil, it's keeping it fresh, lots of nice things. But it's different. When you have, say, like prickly pears or bananas, you know, them kind of cultures with a lot of water inside. Because that is actually irrigation. You know, these systems have no irrigation for the last couple of years. They've, they were only irrigated for the first two years, maybe to the third. And uh, so we've gone for about two full years here with no irrigation. So let's have a look at what's happening here. See here? There is a lot of organic matter. There is an enormous amount of organic matter. All leafage, you know. There must be so many animals in here that I'm even, you know, <laughs> worried about putting my hands. I know there's a lot of... <laughs> Let's have a look. So I am chuffed about all the pruning of the trees and what it has done. You know, oh, it's a lot of organic matter. It is producing, you know, soil, and it is this much organic matter produced locally. There is a lot of life. There is a lot of fungus. So there will be a lot of nutrients available to my trees. So I'm totally satisfied with this organic matter, this material being used. Now, this is something bugging me. I really just want to have more bananas in the system in, the, in an advanced stage. We have lots of bananas initially, but what happens as we move on, you know, two, three, four, five years later, the tendencies for the bananas, you know, to kind of like be substituted, you know, their time has kind of you know, we learn a lot about this, you know, like, oh, the bananas, a lot of people preach it like, you know, you, you harvest it for two, three years and then, you know, you let it go. Obviously, in this system here, we have introduced the taller varieties of bananas. We introduced this two years ago. So like at a second stage, we've got videos about this when we introduced it. 
at the second stage of the forest we can introduce varieties these are these are burrow bananas but they're the old original varieties they're not the new you know uh hybrids or nothing so these old varieties they're quite tall so with a you know few years into the system i introduced these and it's, it's been it's been great so i just you know i want to i want to keep on doing more of this i want to take this technique to more areas because i really need I'm really feeling to have more bananas in my systems, even when they're advanced, further down the line. Now, okay, so I've acknowledged that I want to have more bananas. Now, how can I, what for? For irrigation. Okay, when? In the drought. Okay, so what do I need? Water in the drought, these bananas. Now, these bananas have been growing with us throughout the drought. Um, they were thinned out uh, in an initial idea of, you know, Thinning them out, leaving just one so I could, you know, possibly harvest some fruit of this single banana. Now, you know, we've been discussing it with Felipe and we've come to the conclusion that yes, I could probably harvest some bananas here. But what is my plan? My plan obviously is not to harvest, we've acknowledged that. My plan is to have maximum amount of water in the drought. So the idea is to maximize, so I need to store water for the drought. How am I going to have the maximum water in the drought? So I need to have optimum. I need to have premium amount of banana growth in the rain season to capture the most amount of water and the most amount of moist so that in the drought, I'm chopping them. So if I leave these bananas that were growing through the drought, then they're healthy, but they're not the A, A rate bananas. They're not the healthiest. I'm actually quite pleased since they were growing through the drought with no irrigation. So I actually think these are quite nice bananas. But you know, if I, if I wait for these and I go through the next few months and I'm making the most during the rain season, I'm like, I'm, I'm investing the energy into producing this fruit. I don't want to produce this fruit. So the idea is we're going to bring it all down. We're going to bring all of these bananas down so that now at the very beginning of the rain season, we spend the whole rain season producing, you know, volume, producing organic matter, storing water capturing water in the banana state you know in the in the organic matter you know very wet organic matter material so so to be premium and so that i can come you know next june maybe even july to be harvesting bananas that were grown uh the maximum amount of volume because in in the premium time of the year during the six months of rain you know and and harvesting this water when I most need it midway through the drought you know when when I get to the second half of the drought I put all of this water down and it's like you know it's an irrigation that will take me through to the end of it so this is the key to be using the rain season to capture the most amount of water so that I have that available when I really need it so not making the most of it now not waiting a few months in the rain season to produce my fruit because then I'm not maximizing the amount that I can capture. Because if I prune this, then it's gonna, you know, send information to new shoots, and I'm gonna have lots of new babies. I'm gonna be able to take some seedlings to expand this variety to other areas. We're gonna have some fresh new shoots that are gonna make the most of the rain season. And when we come a year from now, or, or nine, 10 months from now, these are gonna be chunky, you know, healthy bunches. And then I'm gonna harvest that water even if I don't harvest the fruit, which there are good chances that I will harvest the fruit, if I, if I can already choose some that have already sprouted one or two, I will actually even harvest fruit from uh, by the time, because it's gonna be optimum. It's gonna be growing all through the rain season in healthy soils and things like that. All right, so, you know, I'm gonna go ahead now and prune all this down and show you now, as you can see in the next step, all right, so we're back here in the plot. All the bananas are down. We cleared the system really nice. Okay, we've got a uh, those of little cayenne sprouting, uh, re-sprouting from from uh, harvest during the drought as well. We're harvesting quite a little bit of little cayenne here in the drought. Really nice. Some of these eucalyptus, I was really tempted. Oh, you can see there. You can spot some other trees that the birds have been planting. So in the system already, loads of. Uh, bushes shrubs and trees that that the birds have been filling in so it's cool because sometimes we one of our plants fail and then it fills in the gaps and and the eucalyptus as i was saying 
it's not really on spot or ready to, to bring down as well. I really love managing the systems as a whole. My intention was bring all the bananas and all the eucalyptuses down, but they're still on a re-sprout. It hasn't been, it wasn't just the other day. It's been about two, maybe three months that I've pruned this, but it was still in the, in the end of the drought. So it didn't involve that much eucalyptus, but it's nice and green coming off the drought. Uh, so I'm gonna let it beef up a little bit more. We're definitely gonna get three cuts of that in this rain season. This one, you know, in a couple of weeks and then one in the middle and one towards the end for sure. It's not yet occupying more than 30% of the emergent layer. So at about 25, which is, you know, the ideal, but it, we can hold, hold on a little bit more, you know, and, you know, and it's still, if I had brought all the, the bananas and all the eucalyptuses down all in one, it might be, you know, too much of a clearance for some of the coffees and some of the ground lower layer plants. Not too much. It's not so sunny with, with the clouds, but still nice as well. Do it in two stages. I appreciate doing it all in one go, all the new fresh sprout information all together, but as well in two goals, it's fine as well. All right, so if you appreciate our content and you haven't subscribed yet, click that gray button down here, man, just subscribe. Every Saturday, we've got a new video out for you. All right, and if you want to support the channel, check out the Patreon, we've got the Patreon, you know, forward slash Agroforest Academy. You'll be taking part in, uh, in Q&As with us and things like that, all right? So speak to you guys soon.